Hi, today I'm going to do a pin-up inspired makeup and this is based on the makeup I did on Gemma Arterton for the little film I directed of her as Betty Page. I'll put a link to that film in case you haven't seen it. I have a beautiful model today, her name is Mimi, so I hope you like the look. So I've already done Mimi's base, I've used Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat Foundation in BD10. And next I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this is in Pearl. So just straight onto the top of Mimi's base. I haven't done any concealing yet because I want this to be really in synergy with the skin. So I'm just going to blend that right into the foundation. You can see that just gives a really gorgeous glow. And down the center of Mimi's nose and onto the top lip. Okay, so next I'm going to use some concealer. Look up for me, Mimi. And this is Secret Camouflage. And just blend that underneath Mimi's eyes. So now I'm going to just set everything with a layer of loose powder, just translucent powder all over. So onto eyes, and I'm going to apply NARS Pro Prime from the back of my hand straight onto Mimi's eyelids and just blend that all over. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use this Smoky palette by L'Oreal and starting with the silvery grey shade in the centre. Just applying that all across Mimi's eyelids, up to about the socket line. For liner, I'm using Ico Skinny Liner. This is a liquid liner in black. It's a nice long felt applicator. So I'm going to do this quite thick. I'm going to pat it into the roots as well, and then thicken up towards the outer edge. So just lifting slightly on the brow, and then at the outer corner, I'm really going to wing this out quite a bit. It's close for me. Sort of fill that in, in a bit of a triangle there. So I'm just mapping out roughly the shape. So I've mapped out the basic shape that I want with the liquid, and now I'm going over with gel liner, and this is one by Maybelline. So I'm just going to smooth this shape in and make any little adjustments. So next step will be mascara. Look down for me. A really good curl to start and apply false lash effect by Max Factor. This is very similar to Covergirl Lash Blast so it gives a really thick full lash. I'm going to be using some false eyelashes so this is just a really good prep for underneath. For lashes I'm going to use these Girls Aloud Allure Lashes and these are the Nicolas. So lashes are on, let's do a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. This is kind of a top heavy look because Betty Page, it tended to be mainly about her brows and the lashes and liner. She didn't really wear a lot of eyeshadow and um, certainly not very much underneath. So on to brows and brows are very important for a pin up look. Mimi already has incredible brows, so I don't need to do that much. Normally you have to really draw them in. I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades, which are the Aqua Brows by Makeup Forever. So I'm mixing the sort of darkest one with the lighter brown one together, just on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to first just brush those down and then create the shape from underneath. So really create the architecture of the brow going along a really good arch in there and I think brows are so important with pin up makeup so if you've got really sparse light brows it can look amazing when you suddenly have this great kind of 50s very high arched brow especially with the lashes and everything I'm going to go in even a little bit higher just up, up here to get a really good point there. So just keeping a really nice straight line at the top and then with what's left on the brush just pat into that inner corner so it gets the strength but it doesn't become too harsh. I think then you can really see the difference although Mimi's brows are naturally thick anyway just giving them that really defined arc makes it instantly look like pin-up sort of 50s pin-up makeup. So we have to use the classic MAC Ruby Woo for this pin-up look. It's compulsory almost. It's a really dense 
slightly blue, neutral to blue red, which is very, very densely pigmented and also matte. So it's perfect. So I've just followed the natural shape and now I'm going to use a pencil. Just give a little bit more volume here and there and just really get those lips perfect. Your lips are pretty perfect anyway. <laughs> just actually smile like that is great. Now for blusher, I need something that really is gonna tie in with the lips. So I'm gonna go for this red blusher by MAC. And for the shape, it's just really in the video that I made with uh, Gemma Arterton. It was a really kind of sculptural blush because I'm not gonna be doing any contouring. So it's sort of applied in a shape that really brings definition to the face. And to finish off, finish off, I'm going to use the lightest shade from the eye palette, the white as a highlighter, just at the high point onto the brows. And for the cheekbones, I'm going to go back in with some highlighter. This is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the pressed powder version. And this is Moonstone. So it's just a really soft, quite goldy shade. And that is the finished look. So all we need now is the Betty Page wig. Mm -hmm.